Hello everyone, this is your man Hotman. Welcome back to my channel. This time we I will be doing a review on an over Overwatch um, figure. Um, when it comes down to Overwatch figures, I pretty much just buy figures that I like. And I thought this figure was kind of cool, so I went and bought it. Um, I'm doing a review on the uh, Jesse McCree action figure. I want uh, you to check it out to see what he was about. Found the character very uh, interesting. And like I said, it's a cowboy, and the, the cowboy that is, he's, it's like more like, it's modernized a little bit, but I like how they did it on the, the little YouTube that I saw, so I thought that was kind of cool. So, like I said, I picked him up. As you notice, everything's out of the packaging. At the side of the box, as you can see, at the back of the box right there. So you all the, and here's the other characters you can also get in the line. Also, right there, I, th I saw another one I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind getting, but I wanted this one first, so I got that one. There's a picture of him. At the bottom of it, you can check all the, if I can get it, all the, all the stuff that you want to get right there. Like always, we go through the accessories. Accessories are very nice. One second, guys. One second. I'm going to count this as an accessory because it wouldn't on him personally. And uh, first accessory you get, you do get the gun. As you can see right there. And it have like a little spur on the bottom of the back of the gun. I really like that. Gun that came out, out of the packaging right nice and even to me. And everything. It's kind of flat. Do have some detail on there. A little bit of paint on the back. You do get the gun. Another thing you get is uh, two sets of hands. You get the mechanic type hand right there. And you also get a regular hand. Now this hand that I'm showing you right now, this is the hand that was on him in the packaging. I just switched out the hands. You do get that, that hand right there. You do get the, the blast effect right there. And I'll show you that and um, how that works when the video goes on. Here it goes right here, the Overwatch figure, Jesse McCree. I hope I'm saying this name correctly. You do have the nice um, detail on the face. As you can see the face, I can't really see it that well through the um, through the hat. The hat is not removable. Right there. I wish it was, but it's not. Got the nice little bandana on. I wish this was a cloth, but hey, you only can get what you can get. It's just, but it is a very soft, pliable type um, plastic and everything. Show you the back of it. Me personally, it gives me a little bit of a vibe of um, uh, a fistful of dollars, like that Clint Eastwood type style, a little bit, a little bit, especially with the bandana, how the bandana look, um, good and bad and ugly, those type of movies. That's the type of style it gives me. Now these right here, these canisters are removable. You can pop them off, as you can see right there. Um, I, I, I saw where on the on the YouTube channel where he uses these like a bomb, pretty much. You got the bullets right here on the side. His belt also, um, do it like it, it looked like it said the word bang. Got the detail also on the buckle. Do got the uh, um, the little mechanical brace on. Now this hand, part of the hand is like a mechanical type hand right there. This hand is a regular hand. The gun can go in the holster right there. And you also have two pegs holes at the bottom. And you also have some the spares on the back. These are all molded together. I actually like that how they molded together and the detail that is really nicely. Let's go to articulation. The head can move not up that much, not down that much, but you can get a little bit left and right. If you push the pull the bandana down, you can get it to go. A little bit more than that, and everything you can get the hand to go up. If I get it to go up, you can get it to go up a little bit, a little bit that that you do have a a, a butterfly joint under here. If you look real closely, the arm can move forward a little bit and back a little bit. This is stopping a little bit. You can get the hand to bend in that far, down that far. Rotation at the wrist, 
and also upper rotation in the chest as you can see left and right and you also have a lower rotation right here you can get it go forward and back can get the legs to rotate at the thigh upper thigh double knee you can go up about that far as you can see you do can get a nice little split the foot can go up and down and rotate and you can swap the hands out very easily to swap the hands out you pretty much just what I do is I hold it here and I just pull at that part there's the peg put the other hand on very simple and easy pop that on like so and that popped off the gun will fit into the holster like that you could I'm gonna move the guy for one second hold him put him down a little bit one second the blast effect can fit into the gun if you look real closely a little small hole right there just pick it into there and he can hold his gun evil either hand if you want to um, this is more of the way I put it this is more of the trigger hand because you see how that if you look real closely that the hand is out just a little bit further than normally to put the um the gun in the holster. The best way to put the gun in the holster for me is pretty much is to rotate it like this. Rotate it like that. Slide it around. This is how I would do it. Slide it around. Bring them couple of fingers out and push it in like so and if you notice he can hold the finger fits in the gun trigger very nice and easily like that now as, as, as I was watching the episode and I know they couldn't give it to this I know Hasbro couldn't do it but he does come with, he does smoke a cigar in the um in the episode and I think this hand or well, is the other hand I think this hand right here or maybe this hand probably could hold a cigar um, I might see if I make and customize one and everything. So, hope you enjoy my review on my um, Overwatch figure. So, everyone have a good day. Good night. See you on the next exciting review with the Hard Man. Enjoy your collection and be safe out there. I'll talk to you guys later. And I will have, um, if I do get the chance, I will try to put another quick video up for y'all guys. If I don't, I'll do like uh, pretty much... Just check out the figure and probably put a video up maybe like the, maybe like the end of this week or next week or be, I mean like maybe the like beginning of next week and um and everything so once again everybody have a good day good night enjoy your collection and i'll talk to you guys later in the next setting view with the high man and be safe out there